Hi everybody, welcome to another Low One Health game video review where I kind of go over what I, the games I've been playing recently. These are kind of the supplements to my uh, writing reviews, which I no longer am doing. I'm basically going to do little videos like these explaining uh, just my thoughts and uh, little ideas and uh, just my little uh, opinions about the games I've played recently. Uh, today I will be discussing Nine Nine Nights 2, uh, Singularity, and Toy Story 3. Um, let's go ahead and start off with Nine Nine Nights here. Let me get my notes there. There we go. Good to go. Um, 99 Nights is a follow-up to, of course, the first 99 Nights game, in which case, I kind of like the first one. I definitely enjoy the Dynasty Warriors vibe meshed with, uh, the fantasy type of realm. It's not like a feudal Japan. I like having the magic and whatnot, uh, to when you play this game. That kind of gives it a different vibe. Uh, another Dynasty Warrior type game that I really enjoy, of course, is the Gundam Mushu games, but that's just because I'm a big Gundam fan to an extent. But with 99 Nights, I, uh, I started playing and everything, was kind of digging it, but quickly, I mean, we know it's repetitive combat, so it basically comes down to design and story and characters, in which case, you know, the story is very subpar, the visuals and voice acting, of course, is laughably subpar, but uh, what really kind of irked me the most about this game was its design points, where basically, during the course of a mission, there'd be checkpoints. And there wouldn't be checkpoints, actually. I mean, you could go a full 15 minutes without a checkpoint ever activating. In which case, you can cheaply get, you know, one-shotted. Or not one-shotted, but you can cheaply get juggled a lot in this game. And that was very much a, a, a negative to me. I don't like losing time. I don't like playing a game. Maybe if I died, I kept my experience, my orbs that I got then. But no, you just, you're out that 15, 20 minutes. And some missions would go 20 minutes without, or even a full mission without basically no checkpoints. And then some missions would have multiple checkpoints. So it was kind of hit or miss. But uh, I definitely didn't really enjoy that too much. And you, at one point, you get to this castle that has these little poison mushrooms. Uh, and the problem is if you kind of get stuck in them, you have so much time to roll out, and then you're poisoned, and you're taking constant damage. Um, but basically, if you, you work your way up this castle, and if one of the enemies knocks you off into the bottom, maybe into a, a spore, you'd be stuck there, and you take a huge amount of damage. And if you were kind of already low on health, haha. <laughs> Um, you would die, and that would be the end of it. There goes 15, 20 minutes. And basically, there's five different characters you can play, and they kind of unlock, and they all have their different, you know, distinct play styles. And I, I like that. But basically, they almost all end up at this fortress, at this castle, and I just couldn't stomach it anymore. Um, I mean, I mean, other than that, other parts of it, it's, you know, basic hack and slash. It does have RPG elements where you can kind of level up your characters and weapons and skills, and that's kind of cool. I definitely enjoyed that part of it. And I like the, fant the fantasy vibe of it. But just that design element of losing time, I just didn't enjoy. And I gave it like three or four hours. I was like, no, screw it. I'm not going to bother with this game. If anything, maybe the story would keep me going. But it's so disjointed, it wasn't even worth my time. Uh, next game we're going to talk about here is going to be, of course, 99 Nights. I played on the 360. Uh, is Singularity. Um, here we go. Uh, Singularity, just kind of a, a, a straightforward first-person shooter. Uh the gimmick with this one is basically you have a little device that kind of controls time and manipulates stuff, um, and your your enemies are basically Russians. It's very much reminds me a lot of uh, Wolfenstein, um, the the Wolfenstein game they released a year or so ago. You kind of have a magical medallion and you do stuff and you fight Nazis. Kind of you know same basic premise. Except this time you're going against Russians. And it has some time travel elements to it, but just a, a really good solid first person shooter um, can't really say anything bad about it I mean I, I enjoyed playing it I like the story it did kind of get maybe a little bit long in the tooth but they always do that's just how it is um, did have some I played on the PC in which case there were some low texture uh, res texture issues there are no maps or waypoints so you can sometimes get lost but not really um, it definitely has uh, those uh, like chapter uh, like those little audio logs so you can kind of hear what was going on I always enjoy those um, and actually the weapons and abilities were just kind of cool in this game, and I really enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend if you get it, I think it's out for the 360 one, I just give it a playthrough if you if you like first person shooters. It's a good, solid, uh, experience, and I enjoyed it to a point. Um, don't really know what else to say about Singularity. Um, let's go ahead and move on to, uh, Toy Story 3. Now... I usually don't like movie video games whatsoever. I mean, everybody knows the stigma with them. Um, I'm also... Not that big into kiddie video games, but reviewers left and right have been raving about this Toy Story 3, in which case I decided to give it a try, and basically it's broken into two parts. You have your single player story campaign mission, which is kind of following loosely the movie, and then you have this open world free roam aspect, which is just really cool. Uh, you basically do quests and missions for the townsfolk, and as you go along you unlock different costumes, 
different paint jobs, different uh, things, different shops you can put down, different, and you unlock different areas of the place that to kind of go in and explore, like, you know, like a stunt track or a haunted house or a space station. And it's just really cool. It's a nice, has kind of open-ended-ish type of game, and it's just... It's solid. It's really interesting to have something this solid of a game from a movie franchise. And once again, it's basically two parts. You have the single-player campaign, which I did kind of give a try. I tried that out, the single-player campaign. And it gets kind of too platform-heavy, and I wasn't digging it too much. But the free room aspect, I really enjoyed it and played through a lot. And uh, really liked it. I mean, I really recommend if you have kids and they kind of want a game, maybe rent this with them or just rent it for yourself. It's just... It looks great. It has the charm and the humor of the uh, Toy Story uh, kind of series, and it's just really good. I've yet to see a Toy Story 3 movie. I do uh, plan to eventually. Um, but yeah, those are kind of three games. Uh, kind of enjoyed, enjoyed Singularity and Toy Story, not so much the 99 Nights. Um, if I were to give them a breakdown of a sort, it would, of course, uh, 99 Nights, I would give the presentation a 7, the gameplay a 7, the design a 5, because really those checkpoints were just horrible. And the story, like, a 5, just because it was so disoriented, which gives a 99 Nights kind of a 6.25, uh, you know, as an average rating. Uh, Singularity, which I played for the PC, the presentation was a 7. I mean, I've seen better PC games, but it was solid nonetheless, except for those texture issues. Gameplay, a 7. Design, a 7. Story, 7. Just a basic, broad, average first-person shooter, which gives the game just a flat, even 7. And then, of course, for Toy Story 3, I gave the presentation an 8, because they did a really good job being faithful to the series. I mean... Computer graphics, CG, you know, animated film, it kind of goes well. It definitely, I'm not too sure if it has the same voice actors, but it definitely just has the feel of the, the Toy Story uh, series of the franchise. Uh, design is 7, gameplay is 7 because, you know, a solid, just standard stuff. Didn't really go above, above and beyond, but was solid. And then Story is 7 just because it does loosely follow the, uh, the, the movie. Um... Which gives it kind of an average of a 7.25, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit above average game, which, you know. But uh, there you go. Those are kind of the th uh, three games I've played recently. There are more in the back burner, but this is, of course, something I'm trying to do now. Um, and hopefully, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, basically, underneath here on the YouTube video, um, I'm going to put the notes and everything of what I've just said here. So if you don't want to watch or listen to this, you can just look at my bullet notes, bada bing, bada boom. And that'll be that. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.